broccoli has long been touted as a superfood because of its remarkable nutritional makeup. Broccoli is loaded with beta carotene, fiber, antioxidants, vitamin C, phosphorus, zinc, and many other vitamins and minerals. Many of the substances found in broccoli can boost our immune system and help us fight off various types of infections. Also, a compound found in broccoli called indole-3-carbonyl is thought to be able to protect against cancer and may be especially powerful in preventing the development of estrogen-enhanced cancers including breast, endometrial and cervical cancers. Other substances found in broccoli may also positively affect our nervous system and heart health. I recently heard Dr Michael Greger talk about a fascinating study that looked at the effect broccoli can have on our DNA. So let's hear now from Dr Greger. After this video, be sure to head over to Dr Greger's amazing website, nutritionfacts.org. There was a new study on DNA repair, and when you study DNA repair, who do you study? You study smokers, and that's just kind of the standard because they're the ones who have so much damage to their DNA. Took a group of smokers and just for 10 days had them eat six times the amount of broccoli that the average American eats. In other words, just a stalk of broccoli every day for 10 days. Very doable, very easy. And found that those that, compared to the smokers that didn't eat broccoli, they had 30% less DNA damage over those 10 days. Now, we thought that it was due to something we already knew, that uh, these glucosinolates, these phytonutrients in broccoli and cabbage family vegetables in general, they boost your liver's ability to detoxify carcinogens. And so what we were thinking is happening, well, so by eating that broccoli, we're just boosting the liver's ability to kind of clear out the toxins from the tobacco. And so it never made it to the DNA. But the reason why this new study is so significant is what they did is they tested to see if that was the entire effect. They actually took DNA out of their bodies, put it in a test tube, and exposed it to a DNA-damaging chemical. And the DNA of broccoli eaters suffered significantly less damage, meaning the DNA of those eating broccoli is intrinsically more resistant at a subcellular level. You take out DNA from broccoli eaters, and that DNA itself, even outside of the body, is more resistant to damage. So broccoli is protected from a variety of mechanisms. Not only does it uh, clear out uh, these toxins before it ever makes, the, makes it to most of your cells by boosting liver activity, but it also, even if these toxins get past our first line of defense, actually our DNA is uh, more resistant to damage afterwards. That's why that was so, such a significant study. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.